Now, Apple has been trying to move away from its hub China. It has moved some of its major manufacturing work to India with hopes of accounting for 25% of its produce from current 5 to 7%. Everyone in this day and age is familiar with Apple. I mean, it's the largest tech company in the world. They have been successful for decades, but they are in the process of making a huge change. In a surprising twist, the tech titan is bidding farewell to its long-standing manufacturing base in China and embracing the colourful landscape of India. Yes, you heard that right, Apple is in the process of shifting its manufacturing from China to India. But what's driving this monumental transition? Let's find out. So Apple has been manufacturing large quantities of its products in China for the better part of the last decade. So what changed? What is prompting Apple to suddenly change its manufacturing from China? The primary factor driving Apple's decision to diversify its production was the realization of the disruptions caused by China's COVID-0 policy. This recognition highlighted their vulnerability due to a lack of diversified supply base. The absence of such diversification led to production shortfalls that, in turn, significantly impacted their sales. This situation might not have been this bad if they had established multiple sources of their supplies. Another reason for this shift is that Apple, the company which has been able to capture markets from around the globe, has not been able to strengthen its grip on the Indian market. iPhones are just too expensive for Indian consumers. Apple's phone market in India is only 4%. That is it! 4%. Android, especially from Chinese smartphone manufacturers, has secured a dominant position in the Indian market. This stronghold is attributed to their ability to offer affordable handsets with impressive specifications, a winning combination that resonates with Indian consumers. The majority of the market is driven by smartphones priced at approximately $400 or lower, and it's within this price range that Chinese players like Xiaomi has asserted their significant dominance. However, the second-hand market has been really good for Apple because what it does is bring customers into their ecosystem, into using their software and using some of their applications. And by the way, some of these three to five-year-old iPhones, they're real, still very capable. This clearly shows the interest of the people to India to use iPhones, even if it is second-hand. What's stopping Apple to capture the Indian market mainly comes down to the price point. Another significant factor that is attracting Apple to India is the Indian government's favourable policies, marking a pivotal factor in the tech giant's street plans. Reports indicate that Apple is contemplating a substantial shift of 18% of its worldwide iPhone production to India by 2025. This strategic move is fundamentally propelled by India's forward-looking production linked incentive PLI scheme specifically tailored to incentivize mobile phone manufacturers like Apple and its affiliates to bolster their footprint within the nation's borders. The success of the Rs 38,000 crore PLI scheme has garnered attention, with tangible outcomes demonstrated through a notable transformation in the export mix linked to local production. This scheme has played a pivotal role in plying electronic exports, catapulting the yearly growth from 16% to an impressive 25%. This dynamic shift has catapulted India into a robust contender on the global stage, positioned as a reliable and formidable link within the global supply chain network, especially for more mobile phones and electronic manufacturers. Underlying its commitment to the Indian market, Apple has recently taken significant strides, solidifying its presence within the inauguration of two exclusive retail stores in prominent cities, Mumbai and Delhi. The momentous opening of these outlets in April saw CEO Tim Cook himself gracing the occasion underscoring the significance of the Indian market to the company's future growth trajectory. In sync with its broader expansion strategy, Apple's intentions include the establishment of an additional three stores across India by 2027. This strategic roadmap firmly underscores Apple's commitment to tapping into India's burgeoning market potential and strategically positioning itself for long-term growth. In essence, Apple's growing inclination towards India is complexly tied to the nation's proactive policies, particularly the PLI scheme, which has catalyzed both its manufacturing endeavors and exports. As Apple's influence deepens, India is swiftly transitioning into an indispensable cog in the global supply wheel, fostering growth not only for Apple, but for the broader electronics manufacturing sector. Another factor that influenced Apple to shift its manufacturing to India is the availability of a skilled workforce. India has a large pool of skilled workers, particularly in the electronics and manufacturing sectors. According to a report by the National Skilled Development Corporation, India has over 110 million skilled workers, of which 40 million are in the manufacturing sector. The Indian government has also taken steps to improve the skills of its workforce. In 2015, the government launched the Pradhan Mantri Kurskal Vikas Yojana PMKBY, a skill development program that aims to train 500 million people by 2022. 
the PMKVY has so far trained over 30 million people. In addition to the availability of skilled workers, India also offers other advantages to foreign investors, such as a low-cost workforce, a growing economy, and a pro-business environment. These factors have made India an attractive destination for manufacturing, and Apple is just one of the many companies that are shifting their manufacturing to India. It can help Apple to reduce its manufacturing costs. The cost of labor in India is much lower than in other countries, such as China. This could help Apple to save money on its manufacturing costs. Shifting to India could also help Apple to improve the quality of its products. The Indian workforce is known for its attention to detail and quality workmanship. This could help Apple to produce high-quality products that meet the expectations of its customers. The availability of a skilled workforce is a major factor on its influencing Apple to shift its manufacturing to India. This is one of the key reasons why Apple is planning to manufacture 18% of its global iPhones in India. The logistical advantages present in India are quite significant and can potentially influence Apple, a prominent technology company, to consider moving its manufacturing operations to the country. These advantages encompass a well-developed transportation infrastructure and strategic geopolitical location and cost-effective logistics solution. By leveraging these benefits, Apple could effectively lower its overall manufacturing expenses, enhance the efficiency of its supply chain, and cater to the increasing demand for its product within India. In addition to the compelling logistical benefits, India offers a range of other enticing incentives for foreign investors like Apple. Notably, there is an availability of cost-efficient workforce thanks to the relatively lower wages in the country. Moreover, India's economy is on growth trajectory, which provides a promising market for Apple's products. The country's pro-business environment, characterized by various initiatives aimed at fostering ease of doing business, further adds to its allure as an investment destination. It's worth noting that Apple's decision to consider manufacturing in India aligns with a broader trend. Numerous companies are recognizing India's potential as a manufacturing hub due to these advantages. This shift is not only a testament to India's economic and infrastructural progress, but also to its evolving position in the global supply chain landscape. India's logistical strengths, coupled with its cost-effective workforce, growing economy and business-friendly policies have made it a magnet for foreign investors seeking to optimize their manufacturing operations. Apple's potential move to manufacturing in India reflects this trend and underscores the country's rising stature as a preferred manufacturing destination on the global stage. However, shifting manufacturing to India seems like a good idea, but it also comes with a lot of challenges. These include things like not having enough good roads, buildings and other necessary structures, as well as dealing with complicated rules. One of the biggest problems is a lack of good infrastructure. China has built a lot more roads, buildings and other things that make it easier to do business, especially when it comes to selling things to other countries. India is not as advanced in this area. This means that it is harder to move things like iPhones by ship, plane or truck in India compared to China. Another challenge that Apple could face is gaining greater control over its suppliers to India. Due to its democratic structure, there are regulations at both the state and federal levels, leading to a multitude of issues that Apple and its suppliers must address when establishing facilities, recruiting talent, and making decisions about wages. And there you have it. Apple is making a significant shift by moving its manufacturing from China to India due to several compelling reasons. The disruptions caused by China's COVID-0 policy highlighted Apple's vulnerability and lack of supply diversification. Additionally, Apple struggles to gain a foothold in the Indian market due to the high price of iPhones with Android dominating with affordable options. India's favorable policies, particularly the Production Linked Incentive PLI scheme, are attracting Apple. The availability of a skilled workforce, logistical advantages and a pro-business environment in India also contribute to the shift. However, challenges include inadequate infrastructure, lack of skilled workers and dealing with complex regulations. Despite challenges, Apple's move reflects India's rise as a preferred global manufacturing hub and its logistical strengths and cost-effective workforce. What are your thoughts on Apple's decision to shift its manufacturing from China to India? Be sure to leave your thoughts in the comment section below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one.